All right, Al. Thank you very much. Now to Rawson reports this morning some new technology to stop cars that get out of control. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here. He's going to show us this new technology. Hey, Jeff, good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. Look, this can happen in an instant. You're sitting down for dinner at a restaurant or grocery shopping, even just inside your local convenience store, when suddenly we've seen the videos, a car comes crashing through the door, even the wall without notice. Happens more often than you think. In fact, new crashes just over this past weekend. According to the Storefront Safety Council, 60 crashes a day with more than 4,000 people injured and up to 500 killed each year from this. But this morning, we're getting an exclusive look at new technology designed to stop a moving car before it hits you. New York. Watch this minivan barrel through the entrance of this convenience store. This man is shopping inside, pinned between the aisles. He escapes injured but alive. In Texas, another out-of-control car plowing through the doors of this convenience store. Miraculously, this boy is able to walk away. And in California, this car slams into a grocery store, missing this customer by just inches. It happens all over every day, cars charging into storefronts, from beauty salons to restaurants, even bringing down an entire building. Many of these accidents happen even with crash barriers installed out front. And this is what most of those barriers look like across the country. You probably recognize it outside your favorite store. It's yellow. It's a, basically a steel pipe with concrete filled in the middle. Mike Schramm with Traffic Guard. Hey, Jeff. How are you? You're a company Good. that manufactures barriers. Yes, we do. You said these aren't effective. Why? Oh, they fail repeatedly across the United States, and today we're trying to find out why. Okay, so and that brings me to why we're here. We're at Texas A&M's Transportation Institute. They're doing the crash test here. We have a crash test car about 200 yards down that way. They're going to fling that car into this at about 20 miles an hour parking lot speed to see what happens so let's get out of the way the research team gets to work loading up the crash car remember they're about to test what's in front of many stores today okay go Scott all right here we go it's coming Ro oh it went right through it right through it watch that again the car knocks it down like a bowling pin anyone on the other side would be hit and injured. But now an all new design that promises to stop this. What makes this so much better? This stainless steel barrier is much stronger than concrete filled. It'll last a lot longer, lower maintenance. It doesn't rust out. Exactly and right. Concrete, when something hits it, it snaps. It just breaks off, whereas this has give. Absolutely. All right, let's get out of the way, see if it works. They send the same car down the same track again at 20 miles per hour. This would be a big hit for a parking lot. Oh, big. Here yeah. we go. Wow, come that, here. Let's come and take a look. Awesome. It actually stopped the car. But not only would you be safe inside the store, which would be back here, even if you were a pedestrian standing right here, you'd be okay. Exactly. So they up the ante, resetting the test, this time sending the car into the stainless steel barrier at 30 miles per hour. Whoa, look at that. It stopped it. It stopped it there too, even at 30 miles per hour. The new technology that may be coming to a store near you. So this doesn't happen to you. Those videos are dramatic. Believe it or not, there is no federal regulation here, which means these crash barriers, no matter the concrete or the stainless steel, aren't required at most stores and businesses nationwide. The Storefront Safety Council hoping that these changes will happen before more people get hurt. It's a big, big difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Jeff, thank you very much.